from WNDU-TV, this is 16 News Now. Number two, Notre Dame Fighting Irish are now 10 and 0 in 2020 as they finish the regular season undefeated with a convincing win over a one win Syracuse squad. Good evening everyone and thanks for joining us. I'm Maria Catanz. All right, well tonight we have team coverage of the Irish and the Syracuse Orange. Megan Smedley is at the stadium with a record setting day for Notre Dame's quarterback. Chuck Freeby looks at a lot more history made by the Irish today, but first let's start with sports director Mark School Jr and the highlights today from the Irish and the Orange. Mark? Well, Maria, this afternoon at Notre Dame Stadium, many Irish fans might have received some 2008 Notre Dame Syracuse vibes, which was the last time the Orange beat the Irish because it was a slow start for the Domers this afternoon. Today was the first time since that 2008 meeting. The Orange were in the South Bend to play a football game. In the second quarter, Rex Culpepper connects with Anthony Queeley, who somehow does not get tackled on the play and scores from 18 yards out. Orange up 7-0. Irish are still without a touchdown with 3.30 left in the half until Ian Book notices a lot of green grass in front of him and he scurries on off. He runs in from 28 yards out and it was not an easy 28 yards at that. Irish take the 10-7 lead. A minute and 30 seconds later after a Syracuse fumble on the very next play, Book connects with Javon McKinley who fights his way over the goal line for six. The 21-yard TD makes it 17-7 Irish. Final seconds of the half. Book to McKinley again. What a snag. Irish lead 24 to 7. They scored three touchdowns in three minutes and six seconds. More of the same for the Irish in the second half. Book shows off the legs again and runs in for the 17 yard score. Book now has 16 career rushing touchdowns. Good for fourth most by an Irish quarterback. And did you think Book was done looking for McKinley? Well, guess what? He was not as he hauls in another touchdown reception, his third of the ball game. It's 38 14 Irish. Also, here's your weekly Chris Tyree is really fast memo because Chris Tyree, he's really fast. He goes 94 yards to pay dirt on this run, and Notre Dame just runs away with this one. Irish win 45 to 21 and improve to 10 and 0. So, not only does Notre Dame finish with the regular season with a win, but quarterback Ian Book also made history today. 16 News Now sports reporter Megan Smedley joins us live by the phone from the press box in the stadium to tell us all about the history book Ian Book is now a part of. Megan? Hey, Mark. Well, getting the win today wasn't a surprise to anyone despite the rocky start, but Ian Book now being the winningest quarterback in Notre Dame history might be a surprise to some. The Irish QB now has a record of 30-3 and three as a starter with a chance to maybe even add three more wins to that. He's now ahead of the legendary Irish QB ones, Brady Quinn, Ron Paulus, and Tom Clements on the charts. And we've been saying it all season long. He's climbing other charts in the record books as well. Before the pick in the third quarter, he went without an interception since the Duke game way back in September. That was 266 passing attempts, the longest in Notre Dame history. And today started out, started out slow, to say the least. With many fans on edge, books turned it around late in the second quarter, scrambling for a touchdown to get the Irish back in the lead, and later led the Domers to two more trips to the end zone in the first half. Brian Kelly said to dominate the third quarter, and again they started shaking, but the Irish had the fumble from books, but he made up for it on the next Irish possession, scampering in again for the touchdown. He's now tied, as we said, all fourth all-time with Irish quarterback history with 16 rushing touchdowns. He was taken out with five minutes in the fourth quarter, got a nice standing ovation from the fans that were here, finished the day 24-37 for 285 yards and three touchdowns, added 53 yards on the ground with two touchdowns on, as well as they already mentioned. Offensive coordinator Tommy Reese says he's more proud of the man and leader that Book has become instead of his football accomplishments. Reese says that nobody has ever represented the Notre Dame program with more class and grit than Ian Book. What a journey it's been for him since he made his debut in the North Carolina game in 2017. And guys, it is senior day. They're doing the festivities right now on the field. It's obviously very different this year with the pandemic, but it should be nice for them to celebrate. Mark, I will send it back over to you in the studio. Thank you, Megan. Book etching his name in the record book was the, wasn't the only history made this afternoon. Chuck joins us with some of the other streaks set at the stadium. Chuck? While the day didn't start superbly for the Irish Mark, it wound up being a super day and one of superlatives for this Notre Dame program. First of all, the Irish clinch their fourth straight 10 win season. That is something that has never happened in program history and this year even tougher because the Irish only played 10 games. Ian Book joins Johnny Lujak, Joe Theismann and Tony Rice as quarterbacks who never lost at Notre Dame Stadium. Notre Dame wins its 24th consecutive home game. That's their third straight home season without a loss, the second longest home win streak in program history. And with all that going on, 
you'd expect sellout crowds, but the pandemic caused this to be the smallest crowd in the 90 year history of Notre Dame Stadium, just 6,831 fans. So Mark, this wound up being more of a challenge for the Irish than anyone expected. If I'm looking for positives today, I would say the play of Javon McKinley was outstanding today. He's shown that he can emerge as a big time receiver and Notre Dame's ability to overcome the turnovers that they made. But those turnovers were concerning. And the other thing that's concerning is the Irish got gashed for two big runs by a Syracuse offense that's not known to be any good. So there's still some shoring up to do before they face either Clemson or Miami in that ACC championship game. Chuck, I think the turnovers were definitely concerning, but one thing that was also concerning, the slow start. Notre Dame did not score its first touchdown until late in the first half, but once they flip that switch on and turn it on, there's no nothing else anyone can do to stop Notre Dame. It seems like you saw Ian Book get things going. I think if Notre Dame is able to just flip that switch on, get things rolling, uh, it's a good night for everybody else in this one. But Maria, that's it for our coverage. We'll have more in sports.